what you've got now is four countries playing as one. I think Jim and I both feel privileged and to a certain extent humble about coming together with the most talented players in the British Isles. The mantle you carry and the challenge that you have is to put a marker down in South Africa about the way we can play rugby. A lion in South Africa is special. The lions are special, the legends go with it. You making it, you're making history, you're putting the marker down, you are saying what the 97 lions are all about. This is your Everest, boys. Very few ever get a chance in rugby terms to get for Everest, the top of Everest. You have the chance to do. Being picked is the easy bit. To win for a line, for the Lions in a test match, is the ultimate. Five minutes to send as many sponges into any other area that you want. The team that lands the most sponges on the ground in the area are the winners. Given time, any team will form. But the one thing you haven't got is time. I mean, you've got eight weeks of life as Lions from today until you return. So it's in everyone's interest that this process happens quickly and as effectively as it can. Eleven. Eleven. Look at that. Look at that. It's a massacre. <laughs> 12, 12, 13. <laughs> there are different ways to come to the same point. Uh, what we want to end up with this week is, is players who know each other better, who understand each other as individuals, and who have beginning to have an understanding collectively of what we want to do and what we want to achieve and how we support each other. And I think you can get to that in many different ways and it doesn't have to be through rugby practices. And that's been the, the importance of, of what we've tried to achieve. And, and at the end of this week, I think we will be collectively stronger for what we've been doing in other ways. Yes! <laughs> Number five, any equipment touching the obstacles or the ground outside of the safe areas may be confiscated or have a time penalty placed on them. <laughs> What's this thing here? The <laughs> thing that I would like you to look at very carefully is how frequently you're passing urine and how, what colour it is. You should be, you should be uh, having a piss every two hours, I would reckon. Every two hours. And it should be pale. Do it on purpose, Jim! <laughs> big smile on his face, Greg, right? Go, go. He's doing it on purpose! Don't worry, I know the bastard. <laughs> a big part of the process is not just working together, but actually looking at how you work together. I'd say everybody has an input. Okay. You know, that was everybody, everybody made a decision at some stage, sure. That's, a, is that that's what be, you want. Is that going to be something that's going to be important to you? Important. That everybody has a, a voice. Okay. Did we, um, as a critical, did we send two easy ones through too early? Okay, so what's Possibly. that about? Why did that happen? Didn't assess, the, uh, didn't assess the overall project before we started. It's nice to get a couple of points on the board. <laughs> 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 Go on, Eric, you can do four. Go on. Okay, go on. <laughs> Surprised I'm speaking in a high pitched voice. So, what would you take forward from this, given that you've been working in a new group, short time, but obviously achieved? What, what are the things that you take forward squad wise? I think there's a lot of trust involved. Yeah. I mean, you've a guy hanging 30 feet up in the air. Yeah. With us jokers holding on to the other end of the <laughs> rope. But, it's a big you know, thing. Even though we're having a yeah. laugh, you know, there still is a yeah. certain amount of responsibility there. So trust is a key element. Mm -hmm. Just got a few questions from uh, from John and Norrie. I don't know who they're going to ask. 
Okay, the idea is <laughs> they'll throw out some questions here. So anyone here can potentially get a question, answer it the best way that you think, and uh, they'll just give you some idea of where their question's coming from. Martin, you've, um, you've cost England a couple of tries this season by uh, <laughs> <laughs> losing your temper and, uh, <coughs> and swinging a punch. Obviously, the South Africans will be aware of this. Do you, do you feel you'll be able to control your temper? In the heat of the battle out there? Yeah, I think yeah, I think so. I mean, it's just two isolated incidents, and neither of which were a punch, actually. But um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've got that responsibility along with the rest of the players. You know, we've got to keep calm in pressure situations, so uh, we'll definitely do that. So if uh, if we identify that as an area that's been sorted out before the test series, and you do throw a punch and you do give away penalties, we can lay into you. Is that fair enough? Well, if I, if I, if anyone in the team, me especially, if we give away silly penalties in test matches, then you know we'll be responsible for it. So uh, we're definitely got, you know, that's a number one priority: discipline on the field. We can't give away anything. Fine. Daddy Weir, you were seen by a group of uh, South African journalists in the nightclub <laughs> in Port Elizabeth. <laughs> around midnight on Friday. Now, you weren't playing on Saturday, but it was our understanding that the team management had put a curfew on for everybody at 11 o'clock. There's no suggestion that you were actually pissed, but you had had a few beers. Mistaken identity. <laughs> Could you tell us the British line who it was then? My father's out on tour or something. <laughs>
Uh, and I, I sort of I had to battle myself just to put that to one side, for, for instance, and not want to appear arrogant and a bigger than bastard thinking I'm the, the ultimate professional having played rugby league. I don't profess to be that. But what I do realise is that we've got to come together and all of us have got to communicate and talk collectively and, and throw our hat into the ring for eight weeks, uh, irrespective of, uh, of cultures and, 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 and experience. We're all going to put 100% in. And, and I reckon if we do that, we'll be successful. Hotel, and the danger is that we get into a bit of a uh, holiday mode now. We've got to realise that you're not like the guy fishing on the beach or the guys having a cold beer at the poolside. We're talking about world class athletes preparing for uh, some world class events. And I can promise you, for those who haven't been to South Africa, you realise on Saturday that this ain't no fucking holiday. Okay. Ultimately, I want us to be in the back of our minds, all of us have to have in the back of our minds, South Africa. Everything we do is to say we are preparing ourselves every time, every game. I am not going to say no or discourage. If you've got space, if, you, if it's on, if you've decided it's on, all I ask is you go 100% and then the nearest players react to you. Take them on. I want us to take them on. But to do it, we have to be very disciplined over the ball. We have to be very tight, not loose. The more flexible we are, the tighter we've got to be when it matters in contact. We all must change. We are not what we are back home. We're lions now, and we're here to improve. Now, we use all the best things we possibly can from 6,000 miles away or whatever it is, but we build on what's good, we get rid of the things that aren't so good, and we get better and better and better. Now, I'm not one that accepts low standards, OK? So you must accept criticism if it's, if it's justified. You are good players. I've said that right from the start, but good players accept criticism, and you will get praise. Oh, and again, Woody, and again, Woody left! OK? No, no. And it is aggressive. You know, if you've got a back line against you that's chalking all the time, it's, a, it's intimidation. Talking that's it. Good. That's talking. good talking. Hey, yeah, don't go quiet. Simon, work, Simon, work, Simon, work, Simon, work, Simon, work. Thank you. Come on, keep it on, good. Keep it there. Every single scrum is a different fucking challenge. We take it on board every single time. South Africans think that's their fucking livelihood. That's them. That's their fucking a front to their fucking manhood. If you're fucking stuffing there, they don't like it. Right, five double shoves. That's it, keep deep, keep deep, keep deep, keep deep, keep deep. That's what you want. Right. You that? Smell of a hole? Boof, boof. Three players following him yeah. through. It's great to play that. Get, that all, get all that on. Yeah. It's recognising that. If we can yeah. recognise that in games, we'll be dangerous. Yeah, yeah but Paul does well there, see? Paul acts yeah, as a shield. Yeah, that's how I thought. And that's he comes right, come right. Yeah. behind him. Tom's. Oh, Tom's, Tom's, Tom's wrong. Here. Tom's wrong, you see. He's Tom should have stayed in that channel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's Paul Wallace play, made them. It's good play, yes, yeah, we want. Paul Wallace made them. Move. And you, you know, this idea of practice right up, yeah. up each other's backside yes, right, is right, yeah. exactly what he did. Mm -hmm. He even got forwards now starting to whip yeah. round. Look at that movement. Right, but here we can see, you can just see how, how important it is to just keep moving as a group defending. <laughs> right, just keep sliding. You're good. That's, that's the try from the side. Right, once we're through, how important it is to have that player come in from behind ball, how effective it can be. James, do you want a word? Yeah, two boys have <coughs> gone down with a flu-like illness and quite severe diarrhoea. I know a lot of people have got fairly loose bowels at the moment, but it doesn't constitute the same illness. If you start to feel flu-like, please get in touch quite quickly so that we can try and nip it in the bud. Off again, obviously, uh, no consideration of that turn at all after this. We've got lads from England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. One of the great considerations was the fact that we 
quickly, quickly rid ourselves of the clicks. Obviously, what I'm about to show you next, all the work with the impact, all the, uh, the work we've done together, it's all been a waste of time for us. Just hang on a second. Yeah, and uh, I rest my case. Die Young, Barry Williams, Carcass the Physio, Scotty Gibbs and uh, Scott Quinnell. Hey, lads. Uh, excuse, lads. Can I just... Just interrupt the training for a second. Can I just have you gather down for a second? Obviously, uh, Dai Young, we've, we've... The four home unions have spent a lot of money, sort of like, you know, on, on the impact team and what have you, trying to break up the, 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 the cliques and what have you. How come I find you five stood within arm's reach of each other? All tour. Scotty Gibbs, uh, comment. Well, that's just this is the strongest group. So the Welsh are the strong men, the rest of us are the pusses. Oh, All right, man. Anyway, lads, enjoy the training. Jason, obviously, in the part of the powerhouse of the team. Here he is, Jason. You can see what he's doing there. Jason's obviously had a look at that and thought that's too heavy, so he's uh, packed in. With you about your failure there to do 10 reps? <laughs> Saving yourself. Never ever look too keen in the first week of a tour. Don't Always leave it to the last. Don't show all your cards at once, mate, eh? Exactly, mate. Fantastic. Good. Scotty Fatty Gibbs. Hey, show us some, Scott. Yes. I think we might take opportunity to introduce ourselves here. Hi. Hi. Lauren, how, how are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, oh, excellent. And uh, obviously, I'm part of the British team over here, and uh, we're over here to play rugby. Have you heard about us? Yes, I have. Have you? Yes. What do you think? Very good. What do you think of our chances? Excellent. What do you think, do you? Do you think we'll do well? Yes, I hope so. Obviously, you see the lads using the gym. Yes. Any uh, any tips for us in the gym? Well, it's super sick. It's very good. It's good for running. Right. Then yeah. Then the bicycle. Yeah. Everything's You've obviously a great shape. Uh, if, I, if I may just show the camera, uh, Lauren. It's fine. Excellent. Great shape. Um, any um, tips for how the lads can get a shape like this? Well, you just got to alternate your workouts, do weights, and your cardiovascular work. Nice That's brilliant. Lauren, if you could give a message to uh, all 35 lads who are in the gym, what would it be? Good luck and try your best. Thank you very much, Lauren. We had opportunity to speak to one of the quieter members of the tour, but here we have, wait for it, Alan Bateman. Alan, how's the tour going? Uh, very well at the moment. We haven't lost a game yet. Uh, looks like we're going to go on. Hang on a second, mate. We haven't played a fucking game yet. <laughs> That's for you. Are you married? Happily? That's fantastic. He's a lucky man. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, that was my preference. Here's one for the front five. What do you think, boys? When you come to a place like New Zealand, when you come to South Africa, they actually think they're going to fucking win. You know, they actually have this sort of mentality. We are the bloody touring team. We are the international side. We are the British Lions. That's the kind of attitude we should have. And we know within ourselves that we've got the confidence and we've got the background and we've got the pedigree to come out on top. They'll come in, they'll knock seven bells out of you. They'll want to kill a fucking lion today. First game of tour is always special, uh, but there are a lot of special games with this tour, so we don't want to labour uh, the point. Uh, I think for all of us, there's going to be that little tingle in the spine, you know, through the spine when uh, we see those red shirts trot out onto the uh, the rugby playing fields of South Africa. Uh, it's a special moment in your careers, uh, you know, for those particularly working for the first time. There's been a lot of special players in that shirt, 
we've got a special group of players in this room that's uh, very obvious to myself and the management in the first two weeks working together. And I know that you'll work with pride, boys. Enjoy the day. And from all of us, and there have been a hell of a lot of faxes, phone calls from home, there are a lot of people with you. You know, let's go out there and do the business. So I'm going give you, uh, give you your jersey. Uh, if you come out in from one upwards, I'll just like to give you a jersey. So starting with Tom. Boys, I said from the word go, it's teams within teams. You've got the jerseys. You carry the responsibility. But you carry the challenge. What you've got now is four countries playing as one. I think Jim and I both feel privileged and to a certain extent humble about coming together with the most talented players in the British Isles. The mantle you carry and the challenge that you have is to put a marker down in South Africa about the way we can play rugby. The whole thing should be a challenge. You've got to enjoy it. If you look around at the shoulders you've been rubbing alongside the last two weeks, the talent, we're underestimated. I'm convinced of that. I'm quite happy. But the ability for us to stay in this game and keep them under pressure and play at the place we want is if somebody hits the deck or somebody goes into contact, there has to be three, four, five behind him. There has to be. There has to be that commitment to get behind the ball. There has to be that quick commitment to knock them away. And then there has to be the commitment to get in behind and make the second wave. I want the marker down today, but I'll tell you, as Francis, fucking hairs on the back of my neck will be up when you run on that field. A lion in South Africa is special. The lions are special, the legends go with it. You making it, you're making history, you're putting the marker down. You, this afternoon, are saying what the 97 lions are all about. They fucking underestimate us. They're gonna get it rammed down their throats today. What they're going to get for the next six weeks, they're going to get taken to the edge every single game, and we're going to blow them away, blow them away, blow them away. There's no doubt in this. What you're wearing, people fucking die for. Boys, this game, I'm not sure everyone's played in their heads already. They played it in their heads. They know what they want to do. Every single one of us knows what we want to do. Think about the contact. Think about the first hit. Taking the ball in, laying the ball back, quick ball. Sizing up your opposite number. Cutting him in fucking half. Squeeze the arms, feel that. Fucking squeeze the arms, a unity. You're playing for everyone back home. Everyone who's watching this game. Everyone who sent you a message of good luck. That's for us. That's for us, not one person, for everyone. Everyone wants you back home to do fucking well. And it's down to us, no one else. Squeeze the arms again. Squeeze the arms. This never gets broken. This chain never gets broken, no matter what. We stick together. Whatever fucking shit happens out there, we stick together. Squeeze again! That's it, boys. It's there. We want this game. We want this game. Big fucking game. That's it. Go on, Go on, Go on, Go on That's it, nice and loose. Boys, this is close it. Up, lads. Don't close yeah? up, lads. We don't go inside ourselves. Do not go inside yourself. We're here, we express ourselves on the pitch. That's what we do, yeah? We do not try and cram anyone's fucking style. You play, you play. play. You do it. Two wait. minutes to go, boys. We've been waiting for this moment, eh? Two minutes to go. Let's get this tour going, yeah? Let's get this tour fucking off to a big bang. Big bang. Big start. Let's box clever, boys. Let's play as cute as we fucking can, as hard as we can. That's what we're looking for. 30 minutes forwards, we're not going to get any flavours off the ref. We're not going to get any fucking fair treatment whatsoever. What more do you want to achieve? 
What more do you want to achieve? It's there for us. It's there for us. Squeeze the arms. Squeeze the arms. That's it. 47 of us against fucking all of South Africa. I don't fucking care what happens today. As long as you can look at each other, honestly, and just say I didn't let you down. And the challenge that you have is to put a marker down in South Africa about the way we can play rugby. Yes, uh, what is your name, my friend? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, this is a rare species of the Irish sperm whale. <laughs> Mr. Wood, the judge, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Can we have a pool attendant, please? You're not allowed to masturbate in the pool. Is that <laughs> Dave McLean, Dave McLean, Dave McLean. <laughs> that big wedge of cake. And a word, a word from the coach. The coach is smiling in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Setting the example. It's low fat cake, anyway. No, don't bother with them. Get your own time in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, Tony. 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 Whatever you think, whatever we're doing, OK, just cut it out, OK? We're all working together. These bastards will be taking it on me in the front of the papers. There'll be fucking inquiries from here, there and everywhere. Yeah, Let's be simple, that's OK? That's right, OK. The only way that jersey means something is how it rests on your shoulders. We talked this morning about the conditions. You've got the biggest challenge because you've got to make the game work for us in conditions which will make it easier for them, not for us, but be a leveller. This is the biggest game of their lives. What they don't appreciate is the biggest game of yours because that jersey represents four countries, not one. It's a new team but it's the 97 Lions. We started to put a picture together on Saturday. 
now we want to build on it. You've got to send the message right through South Africa that this British Lions means something. Because there'll be the times out there today when it'll need out and out bravery. And I'll tell you, there's no feeling like rubbing shoulders in a Lions jersey. It's a great feeling. It is a totally unique feeling. On your feet. Sharp, okay, everything's sharp. Just put another size on it. And it'll grow and grow and grow. Good luck. Wear it with pride. It's on your shoulders. Control of this game and the pace is how we get four or five players over the ball every fucking time. Right? And that's the ball game. You get in there, then we'll control it. We need some heroes now, boys. Penalties. We need some heroes. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's get the legs. Come on, boys. Ten seconds. Come on. Move the legs. We're going to tie you up. Come on. One stretcher, oh. probably. Oh, yeah, well, another one over Good. Make sure of avoiding defeat here. And they've got the drive on, and they're going to score. The referee has given the try. A match which the Lions have rather stuttered their way through. But nothing stuttering about that kick. Let's get. Ah! Hold on. He tries to two. Yeah! He's stuck in there. One point. Scuttler. One point. When things aren't doing badly, the football gets so excited. Okay? Everyone's jabbering away. Everyone's wanting to get their piece in. But must just keep it calmly. Get the control, okay? Enthusiasm's a great thing, but it's got to be kept under control, okay? Well done. Thanks a lot. Good job, Yeah. I earned money on you. Oh, for the try scorer. Really? I'll buy you a beer, later. That's Just one. Only just one. I still want to make money on it, don't I? Memphis got ban of the match. And the team for today will be the subsidiary cameraman Ian McGeehan here. It's like the clumsy piece of technology he's using there. Oh, look at that. What a wonderful place. Again, a lovely view. Back to Table Mountain with Lion Cop in the distance and Robin Island. Out Bay in the foreground there. This is the tip of Africa. All of Cape Town spreading out behind it. Eric was shoved into this large donut machine and locked in a room and we're busy looking at him and doctors being doctors up comes the the scan and we were all hoping that there was nothing serious to send him home but i was hoping there was actually something there because i'd said clinically it was a fracture so that's that's a plain x-ray and what they've done is they've taken slices at three millimeters through his his head From i can say to you there it is there's the break so you see it, it, these two should be symmetrical, and as you see, they're not. So that's it's pushed fair. back. That's yeah. the front, and the boot has come in here yeah. and booted in there. Yeah. Eric comes out of the room and says, well, what's the thing? And the guy says, oh, you've got a fracture. Now, poor Eric's face just dropped. I mean, he's just, that's end of tour. And he said, no, no, but it doesn't mean anything. He said, it's just <laughs> going to be a bit sore, and you're not going to be able to feel your teeth for three months. And Eric's gone, yes! <laughs> so it was just wonderful. It was yeah. really good. So. Tom. On Tom's x-rays, it showed that on the fourth thoracic vertebra, instead of being a nice square vertebra, it had collapsed like that. Right. Now, he doesn't know whether it was new or old, so they had to do an isotope bone scan. That's where he's been this afternoon. Radioactive dye in. If that's new, it'll come up as a hot oh, spot. Yeah. It'll look radioactive. Right. We'll know that at 6 o'clock when he comes So home. if it's new, his it's tools are out. out. If it's old, we'll just get on and... It yeah. treat, treat him right. as if he just had a soft so tissue There's spring. nothing to do at the stage. Nothing to do until we find out when it comes. It's not the kind of tool we can carry people no, at this stage. We if it was the last happen. two weeks and you're in it, you said, well, OK, let's, you know, he's done all the work and, uh, you know, he could go from game to game without trying. This is the beauty of you can see them on the bench, you can check them medically, but it's only when you actually physically test them that sometimes it shows up that they're not fit. People don't like getting tested. Yeah. Well, you know why? 
Oh, yeah. You can understand why. Yeah. Uh, because it's very exposing of individuals. And so if there's an, any opportunity to get out of doing the test, people will not do it. We need to be tough and we've got to be absolutely ruthless yeah, about it to, in terms of... They've got to be honest. Fit, they've got to be honest. We can't carry anybody. That's not a real karma, is it? Well, I believe we've got an imposter here. I think he's just using that to get into these parties. Oh, he I think we've got a problem here. He keeps heading off with a couple of young ladies. Yeah, I think they? we should maybe call security. Yeah. Get rid of him. I've never seen him before. Toss him out. Yes, that would be a very good idea. Right. Into the swimming pool he goes. <laughs> this way, sir. You can jump in yourself or we shall throw you in. Obviously, uh, here we are, stood in the South African home for stray young girls. Looking around. Hello, can we pan? Can we pan, Doddy? Doddy, can we pan? Rob Wainwright, official lines film, Cape Town. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. We're going to have to take two on that one. Ready? What, what's, the date? what's the date? What's the date? 29th. 29th. LC it's a Thursday. Thursday the 29th. This is Rob Wainwright, closing down. Now, what do they say? How, how do they say? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And it's this back is... to you in the studio. This is Rob Wainwright closing down with Doddy Weir in Cape Town, 29th of uh, May. May 1997, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is the final filming from the Parliament Buildings here in Cape Town with Rob Wainwright, Doddy Weir. Now back to the studios. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you, Doddy. This, is in, in my book, is where the tour begins. Don't underestimate the effect you winning here will have on South Africa. Whether Western Province are in the Super 12 or not, Western Province is one of the biggest hotbeds of rugby in South Africa. Just to say about James Small for Bentos there, you see there he's actually waiting and he's trying to pull the inside defenders across. When he plays for the box, especially early on, and in big games he does the opposite early. He wants just to fly in. Um, because he, he's very messed up in the head, basically, and he likes to prove a point. And just, that just follows on from what the fellow this afternoon said. As far as James Small's concerned, he will want to make it the James Small show tomorrow. He'll want to prove to South Africa that he's the best winger in South Africa and that he'll, he'll want to run it and get involved. And in that respect, his rugby will be very indisciplined because he'll be trying to get involved in everything. I mean, if, you know, if, if he's going to come in here, then I can't say, I can't say, no, no, no. just got you to let him come down there, haven't you? Yeah. Then yeah. The only difference is he's saying, if I move out, then he does get an extra yard Yeah, that's ahead. okay, he's still taking But he's still taking the, the, I'm just saying, the only, the only danger is if the nine comes across and comes, comes in between myself and Tim, yeah. and then that sort of gets a just gets a pass. That's where we've got to hold the channel. If, if you're worried about it, you could almost stand there. As long as you feel you can, you've just got to fill in that outside channel. Do you know what I mean? You've got to judge it. I mean. Yeah. I think your friend, Mr. Small, will be wanting the ball there. Yeah. You'll not be wanting it in here and because you're not going to get it. And if anything, you'll yeah. come back. You'll yeah. come back. Everything we do, do it well. Just concentrate. Most overused word we've got, but let's just do it. Just take a minute now, just to take it all in. Come on, go. Big crowd, good stadium. Confidence. They're our words today, but they're only fucking words unless we give them some meaning, yeah? 
only words unless we give them some meaning. When you're tired and when you're shagged and when you can't fucking move anymore, just look at the fucking boys now and think about this moment. The boys in the eyes. Get in the line, get in the defensive line. Which one are you going to fucking let down? Who are you going to let down? Nobody else is going to fucking let down. Yeah, the boys here and the boys in the eyes. Just go, go, go! Wow! Go! Go, Teddy! Go, Yayan! For 20 minutes, we didn't give them a way in. All right, we kept possession, we kept it going. We then had a bad 10 minutes when we just gave ball away. Can you give it 10 minutes? Well, it just might just be crucial. Yeah, just, was just 10 minutes after half time. As long as you want me to, yeah, I'll just, just go on. Right, get it back to the second row. Over damage, will it? It won't damage him any further. What damage? It comes down to He just passed behind. We fucking won it. We're fucking gonna win it. Let's fucking take him. First fucking 20 in the half. He's gonna fucking win it. Come on. If you wanted, boys, you wanted. If you didn't, you wanted. You must want it. You must want it, Simon. Come on. You must want it, Jono. Come on. You must want it, Jason. Right. Barry. Richard. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. 40 minutes now, boys, making a fucking big step. Well picked up though by Fleck, and now James Small shows better the outside. Small's kick ahead. Back goes Guskett. His centre partner Tate is there as well. Stretched by Small. There's a feeling that may have been a little bit forward. Now there's a fracco breaking out. It's spinning over between uh, John Bentley and James Small. Tate went across there as well. There needs to be a peacemaker. Yes, yes, yes. Go on, Gregor. Go on, Gregor. Watch yourself, Tim. Mark. Come on, Rob! Gregor. Go on, Rob! Thank God, uh, Yayan caught the ball and uh, you know got, went over in the corner. So it's a nice little uh, Welsh uh, duel there. So it, it's great, but uh, you know it's nice to win. You know our first big game. Good job, thanks, mate. On the basis that you'll be again. Might be paid for that in Deville. <laughs> <laughs>
the other thing, I suppose most people just read this uh, crap in the paper from uh, James Small. I'll tell you now, I've seen it so many times from New Zealand, South Africa, uh, and really what you succeed in doing on Saturday is just putting the seeds of doubt in, and now they're looking at anything just to try and wind it up. Unfortunate the game. Um, we'll be remembered by some for a, what was reported as an ugly incident where I'm supposed to have gouged James Small. Um, he's claimed that two days after the event that I, that I was involved in that sort of thing with him, but I strenuously deny that. Never gouged anyone in my life. I don't intend, intend to start doing now. I'm not a dirty player. I play within the rules of the game. I'm a hard player. I like to get stuck in. It's a very physical game as rugby, but I would never ever go near anybody's eyes. In an attempt to affect their eyesight or, or cause them any harm. Rugby, I mean, yeah. they're all going to know now that I've got a, a bad shoulder. Yeah, well, I didn't tell them what joint we were doing. We just got to say why we're giving you steroids and that's oh, because you have a problem, no. You just got to say that you're actually going to administer some oh, steroid, which is not so bad. Yeah. The pain the is pulling. there. And yeah, around there. What, what, what? Is that the ligament? Yeah. What? It's not the There's bicep? Floating end of it. No, biceps, tendons in there, that groove there. Right. You see? Yeah. So that's a nice identifiable one. So that's the end of my... That's the end of your... What was your... What's it called? You, you've had your coracoid removed from there, beneath. The end of your clavicles there. So just infiltrate there. Is that where you... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. it's nice and easy to find, because your scar marks are spots, so... Shall I try and relax for this? Yes, it wouldn't make any can. difference. Yeah, that's the kind of relaxed. Aspirate, make sure that we're not in a blood vessel. And then just pump a wee bit in. I can't even feel it. You shouldn't if it's another wee jab. You okay? Feel that one, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Just sorry. touching the bone there. There are two kinds of rugby players, boys. There's honest ones and there's the rest. The honest player gets up in the morning and looks himself in the fucking mirror and sets his standard, sets his stall out and says, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better. He doesn't complain about the food or the beds or the referees or all these sort of things. These are just peripheral things that weak players are always complaining about. The dishonest player. If I tell a player he's too high or he's, too, he's not tight enough, he's too fucking high. He's not tight enough and that's it. And I'm the judge and not the player. And we accept that and we do something about it. I've coached Lions teams before and we've complained and carped about this, that and the next thing. And I liken it a bit to the British and the Irish going abroad on holiday. The first thing they look for is a fucking English pub. The second thing they look for is a pint of Guinness. And the third thing they look is a fish and chip shop. The only thing they accept is the sun. They don't take on anything that's good or decent or different abroad. If we do that, we're sunk. Because we don't go back bitching. We don't go back carping, oh, we've done it, this a twick in them or Arms Park or Lansdowne Road or Murrayfield. No, no, these days are past. What's accepted over there is not accepted over here. And you're not accepted by us, me and you. So from now on, the page is turned. We're on a new book. Different attitudes. We're honest with ourselves. And in many respects in the forward play, and let's be fucking honest, We've been second best. We can match them, but only if we get it right here and right here. Two weeks. There's battles all along the way, 
There's a battle on Wednesday. There's a battle on Saturday. There's a battle next Wednesday. And there's a battle the following Saturday. There's a battle the following Tuesday until we're fucking into the big arena. The one we were there on Saturday. And by that time, the fucking lions have to make them fucking roar for us. Because they'll be baying for blood. Let's hope it's fucking springbok blood. We're focused. From now on, the gloves are, kick gloves are off. It's bare knuckle fucking stuff. And only at the end of the day will the man who stand on his feet win the fucking battle. Forget about the rest of the session, right? Forget about the rest of the session. Forget about what we're going to do later. Now is the time we fucking crawl off this machine. We crawl off the fucking thing. Yes, every fucking ounce goes into this. This is the most important fucking part for Wednesday. Every fucking ounce, right? Come on. Exactly right. Ready! Ready! No! Ready! Ready! No! Ready! Ready! No! It's their ball. His feet are back. There's eight against seven. When his leg moves, we knock them back. Exactly what they're doing to us. <coughs> OK. That's good. Hold it there. Squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. No one. No one. He only had 300 on you there. He never moved it. Fucking bunch of cats could move that. Right, sprint to the post and come in ready. Sprint to the post and come in ready. Legs up, legs up, legs up. Come on. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Quickly, Wally, that's his problem. Get it off. We're mentally ready 15 metres away, OK, would you? Everybody's high in mindset and get it ready. Go. Come on, get up, Tom, and away you go. Hey, speak, to them, Tim, speak to them, Tim, speak to them, Tim, speak to them, Tim. Come on. Hold it there, hold it there. Come on, hold it in. Come on, Tom, hold it. Hold it, Donny, hold it. No feet movement. Hold it there. Squeeze the arms, squeeze the arms, squeeze the arms. Squeeze the arm. Hold it up. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I have to get Thomas Smith to stop scrummaging off my toes. He's ruining my toes. <laughs> he is burying the bloody studs into my feet. She's such a beaut. I have, a, I have a thing about belly buttons, and she's such a particularly good one. So, <laughs> so what's this thing about belly buttons, then? I don't know. Belly buttons and pregnant women, for some reason, are my two passions. And that's been it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a thing, I, think I just find pregnant women really sexy. Not that I do anything about it, but I just find them very sexy. <laughs> Don't follow that. <laughs> I've got this thing about men. <laughs> I'm knackered. After okay, just, I, think, just think about yourself. After our easy training session today. It's going to be pretty, it's hard going here as well, Tim. Eh? It's contact as well. When, this afternoon? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's good. Honesty. That word can be overplayed. <laughs> you're throwing your balls off and then you're being told that you're not being honest. Yeah. Ah, Mr. Wainwright. Dolly. You have a present for me. I have a present for you. Thank you very much for accepting. Charger. And camera. Well, Rob, is this a bad day for you handing over this little camera? I can't believe I've been stripped of the honour. I mean, it's one of the most disgraceful days of my life. But, uh, hey, boy, good luck, I think. Yeah. Thanks. OK. That yeah, little red button's the stop button. I was just going to say, can you tell me how to work it? <laughs> Here we are today. Just received the camera from Rob Wainwright. It's going to be a learning process, as I haven't a bloody clue how to. So, here we are. Just received the camera from Rob Wainwright. Take two, because part one I had a wee swear, because I'm not very sure how to work it. So between you and I, it's going to be a long struggle for a week, but we'll certainly go. The final preparations have just been made for your third game. We'll leave the hotel at quarter past twelve for an hour and a half drive to Whitbank. Looking forward to it, but without doubt it's going to be one of the hardest games on tour. The heat and humidity are not going to make it any easier. But here's hoping things are going to go well. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye now. I've had a busy night, I've had a busy week or two, um, one or two casualties. We've got Scott Quinnell laid up back in the hotel with a cellulitis, uh, quite a nasty infection of his foot. 
We've still not got Scott Gibbs back into full training, but he's going to be training with us tonight with his ankle injury. Richard Hill and uh, Scott Quinnell can't scrummage much to Jim Telfer's annoyance tonight. Had a had it in the neck for not having him fit, but never mind. By and large, just got one or two other coughs and colds in the party, but uh, some of the press seem to be cracking up at the moment. Had one in tears overnight, and I don't think it was because he couldn't file his copy. Problems at home, and uh, one or two have gone down with the dreaded lurgy, the diarrhoea and vomiting, and since the photographers are I've treated them, so get them here at the match. The film crew seem to be pretty healthy, though, apart from the rashes. Be fine. Keep taking the penicillin, boys. Any? Yeah, there are. Yeah, the lightweight ones are the big ones. You're just saying bring back 5% of aggression and put it back into fucking brain power and we win. It's what we're looking at. We're gonna out take them, out fox them, out run them, out scrummage them, out line them, out fucking kick them if we have to. Shitty balls, just shitty balls, whatever it fucking is. Give it to me, I'll be fucking there. I'd rather be kicked than you be kicked. Right, that's the fucking thing we have to have. Right, we have to look after you. Right? You look after us because you beat your fucking eyes. We look after you. So don't, I mean, if there's a chance of you getting fucking done, give it to me. It's not fucking coward, it's insane. Right? Heads. Heads, knees. I want to start out there. But would you let us know beforehand? Sure. Yeah. Because we would love to inform them yeah. if, about five, ten minutes before no the game. It's the British Lions, bait to the slaughterhouse out there, as far as they're concerned. That's all they give a shit about. They're underdogs, they're underrated, they're out to hit people about. There is no way we've been physically intimidated. No way! Fill that jersey, boys, come on. Fill it hard. Fill it. It's what's inside the jersey that's important, remember that. Let it all come out. Let everything come out, boys. I know you're there. Please, you're tight in everything we do. Tight as a drum, tight as a knife. Cut through them. Go, go, go. Jesus! He's seen it. Come and smash his face. Come on. It's appalling. You know who that is, do you? That's the guy in the yeah. 94. Fucking bastards. Should be off for that. Unprotected face, stuck. Should be cited for that. All right, now I want to see how hard you are. All right, how hard you are, because you should start again now from the way you started from the kickoff. <laughs> Right, you take it to them, you're self-disciplined, and you just keep going at them, in behind ball, and keep playing off each other. Right? And you bury these bastards in the next first 20 minutes of the second Come half. On, Give them Come fuck on. all. Joys and pleasures of war. So when the score is 50 odd. 52-14, innit? I'll take any injury. Oh, oh come on, Ray! Get him off! Call yourself, stand. That's as bad as it comes. Jesus. Jim, James over. That is medial ligaments completely torn. He's off. Over. Oh, nice. Revision, Will. Revision. Fucking ass. Good? Fucking ass. 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 It's a shame we can't go to the session tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, eh? The medium ligament's gone. What does that mean? Medium ligament's Medium fixed. Is it? No, just healing time. It's gone. Thank you.
Oh well, it's been a good old time, hasn't it? You then strap it up a little just now, and it's like you get ready to just walk with very small steps, be very gingerly on it, because you don't want to do anything else. And then we'll do something after you've changed. Cheers, Robert. That's when you sort of not have the players at heart, really, because all I feel now is, you know, if Doddy goes home, it'll be criminal, you know. For, for an incident with an idiot like that. This is a problem, gents and Wait ladies who are the viewing population of this. Of, this is what they call a classic cauliflower ear. Most second rows have them, unfortunately. I don't really push, so I don't, I don't merit one of them, but um, this is one of our, our problems. Let's take that one. Superb, look at that. Oh, yeah, fella. I told you it would come right, sir. Come right? Yeah. Look at it. That's what Simon was on. Down before, but it was too. You need to do it down before, my dear. Back in there, lots of stuff. Heck, my bob, there's a lot of stuff coming out of that. Oh, awesome. His head's getting smaller, dog. <laughs> oh, nice job. But you can't wait now to get back to the yeah. scrimmaging session in so, half an hour. Scott, pressure. This is an important point to stop it bleeding. Yeah. Well done, Simon. Good luck for this evening's scrimmaging session. It's bound to help it come on. It's a sad day for me, uh, mainly due to the fact that I'm uh, going home. My tour has finally ended. But on a, on a sweet note, I've had uh, I remember this tour for many years, some great memories, and met some lovely people. I think the disappointment, it's not really here at the moment, but I think when I get on that plane and see the boys play today, uh, there'll be a big lump in my throat. Here you can see a man whose um, bag's packed, ready to go. Quite an ex upsetting time. On the other hand, this is my roommate, Richard Hill. You can see that he's staying on for a wee while long and I think he'll do exceptionally well. What a mess. It's been a pleasure to room with them. Right, boys, we've been, we've been starting to believe our own press reports. That's yeah, the problem. We think we're, we've starting to believe our, our own press reports. We're good, because we'll beat a mumbo-jumbo team on Wednesday. OK, let's really get it solid from the word go. The only guy up at the kickoffs is, is, is the captain, OK? And, he, and then they're coming at us. Let's really get in the corners. Let's drive them every time we drive them. Now let's get our heads up, boys, because we're in the, the hide, of, in front of hiding if they get a score. We must get the score first. We must get the first score. And it's on to Richter. Richter is going to score. That is the worst possible start for the Lions. This is Townsend, and Townsend goes through. First time this afternoon. He's got Guscott with him. Back inside of Guscott. Guscott's got the Lions back into it. How they needed that score. What's up? Uh, just, just hold on. Oh, my children. Use your neck and shoulder, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you Oh, fuck, fuck. Take your time. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Let me tell you, in the neck. Oh, oh. 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 Just, well, that's your time, oh. Scott. Oh. And nothing wrong with that. It's a driving shoulder. It's the follow-up. Come on! Go on, Jesse! Go on, Jesse! Come on! 
stuck at it, boys. Well stuck at it, lads. Come on, come on, let's get your heads up. Made that many mistakes and still be in the game, can't be that bad. Casual first half, really. Uh, we scored some. <laughs> You know, ultimately played some good rugby, um, but too much to do. And the nice, the last move would have been nice to finish off with a try. But I think we'd, you know, in all honesty, we were um, we were too slack in the first half. And you, do, you don't give sides like this, a, you know, eleven point start. Uh, no, I'm in a uh, judicial committee meeting here. So I'll give you a call back. Well, I, I, you know, nobody wants to uh, to get stuck into Scotty uh, in any way, but I'm sure, you know, in this difficult circumstances of last week, that perhaps he, he might like to offer some kind of, kind of statement to us. Even if it's through you, Bob. Well, I think it's, it's essential he says something, Bob. He isn't committed murder in a public place, isn't he? For fuck's sake. I mean, I have twatted someone and I was a brat. Thank you very much, Scott. That's all it fucking is, isn't it? What would, what would this lot do if someone committed a real crime? Piano wire, please. Pass it along. Instantly. The penalty imposed is the following. Mr Gibbs is suspended for one match i.e. Will, he will not be eligible for the match scheduled on Wednesday the 11th of June 1997. British Lions versus the Houghton Lions. No questions at all. None at all. You've had the statement. That is the end of the matter. Wait, and you've I... got the official judgment. Can I ask you why you're not taking any questions? Please? I'm not taking any questions because all the information you require is in there. There's no, nothing further to add. Can you just clear up, Fran, how this affects the Lions' own code of conduct? I'm taking no one. You can ask as many questions you want, but I'm taking no further questions. I've got no further comments to make. Week five, on every Lions took, well, on the, on the last two, certainly, week five has been crucial. Because, because there has been something happened where, you know, you, we just had to do something to just, just spark. But I think that game might have done us a bit of favour, actually. Yeah. yeah. Having won four games in the trot and mm. getting better and better all of a sudden, yeah. put a reality back. You know, this is a hard talk. All of a sudden, bang. If you actually said to everybody, said, "Now you got three and a half weeks to focus on beating the Springboks." If you, if that was at home, you'd have no problems about doing it. But of course, when you get on tour a bit, you suddenly like on tour a bit of a tour mode, and it's easy to lose the focus on tour. But if you actually said that three and a half weeks out of one month of your life to beat them, you'd do anything possible. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Any issues with the management? Well, we think they've been drinking a bit too much as well. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the management drinking too much, is there? No, yeah, when you get, when you got a month, so what are you gonna do? Put a month, month. aside <laughs> to beat, beat the Springboks, <laughs> okay? Three and a half weeks. <laughs> Critical day, I think, from certainly from the medical aspects of the tour. It's the uh, 9th of June, we're halfway through, and we've got a game in two days' time, and uh, we've got one or two problems with the centres, one suspended and one or two injuries, and Alan Bateman, unfortunately, carrying a small hamstring tear. We're trying to protect him, and it's pretty crucial that he comes through this next hour and a half session without any further injury. If he does, then we've got two days leeway of rest and recuperation before he plays, and that'll, that'll determine his uh, place on the tour, and it's pretty critical. So we're going to have a little heart-to-heart -heart at some point today or tomorrow with the, the whole group and say, look, for goodness sake, you've got to present yourselves fit for training, or you've got to present yourselves unfit before we come to training. But not, not when we get here, it's no good for my nerves. When you get a stare from Jim Telfer, you get a stare. And I've had too many so far. Get up, get up, Don, get up! Can you hold that a minute, Jim? Yeah. 
No, this is the only way we've got a chance of beating them, is the, what, what we're trying to do. If we attempted to play like England do, we'd get absolutely stuffed. No pace at that time, they just couldn't, couldn't run sprints, but... Oh. Two, one. <sighs> you have to just make him a, a nice pack up, which is well done, man. Well done. Thanks, Dad. Good, Jelly, over and ask him what happened to his eye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we were saying it was like, um, we were having problems like getting retrieving the ball. Like, yeah. <laughs> going the the contact. So back he says, Look, you can clear out and get the ball at the same time. He said, uh, do you want me to show you? Uh, Jerry, go down on the floor. He goes down with the ball. He goes, whack! Smack it, we split his eye open. Yeah. Didn't he? I want you for second row, Jerry. <laughs> 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 I thought I was choking as well, didn't I? I was sort of led down. I bosh. I went, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 uh, come on, Jerry, get up, will you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, you're bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a stitch to it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he said wait till they get back, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's got microphone. Microphone. He's got his micro surgery just to get there. Don't want that yeah. rope they use on you forwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking true, though. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Right, let's yeah. get it in there. Oh, well, it was the end of it that, where they just did sort of eight different runs through and Paul was just gagging on his own breath like that. And Jim was down below him telling him how he should have been lower, how he was pathetic, and then he... <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Jim, I love it, Jim goes two-tone, a mixture of the sun, the exertion, and his white hair, <laughs> his big red face. I bet you Jim dies on the train. <laughs> One day he will. You can't say that, man. Yeah, he will. That's, uh, that's probably a form yeah. of death. If you can give me a cure for those things, it's I get not a cure, the but they add, add course. Some of them are over a week. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's just an ulcer. Yeah, but it's not just an ulcer when you're, Is the, that a what? No, you're the man who's got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so unpleasant. Yeah. Uh, will you just piss off? <laughs> if you haven't seen that, Alan's been uh, unfortunate with that edge because he's, he's a real quality player, he is, Bateman. Oh, my God. So that, well, I think Tony scored a try. To me, that was the best try of the tour when uh, Will did a uh, what loop and what went out wide and Alan just popped it up. Tonight's an opportunity for you, for all of us. Jim can't do it, I can't do it. You can. Give us a lead, boys. Give us something to be proud about. And I want the hairs on the back of my neck rising all game. You go in there. Big opportunity. Take it because you make us all a bit better and a bit bigger. Good luck. Enjoy it. It's a big game. Come back, dig a stone. Yes! Play it, play it! Play it! Play it! Play it! Oh, referee! Number two should be fucking off! Oh, should have done it. Should just kick it long. Christ, the whole field when the full box in, he's in all the time, man. We should cite him for that. I know, he's, we can't, can we? Fucking hell. Bastards. They'll, they'll give penalties on everything. Go on, Rob! Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Come on, Bentos. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Why let it bounce, man? Oh, I can't do that. You've got to be on the back foot, you mute. Why? Oh, look. Look at you Bentos is fucking sleeping. Right. Well, Unless you step minutes. it up, you're going to fucking lose. 40 minutes. Look. Getting up there. In after each happen. other. In you have ball. to make it happen. Right. Make Get it happen. Oh, it happen? Make it fucking happen! Right to the kickoff. Come on! Big hits. Get underneath them. Right, not feel sorry for you, Speed it up. Speed it up. For it! 
Keep going. Keep going. Well played, I was fucking superb. but um, I've never experienced anything like coming off the field <coughs> and being greeted by the remaining <coughs> members of the squad who didn't play, the elation on their faces and uh, how pleased they were, uh, I think, uh, to get the tour back on the road. Uh, the lads have been ribbing me for the last few days I've been off tour. Uh, that's because I haven't been... I, know, I think you all know me as quite vocal and, uh, and jovial and what have you, but sure sometimes you've got to shut up and put up. And it was a time for me to do that today because... Uh, I'm pretty loud and I had a poor game Saturday, so it's, it was up to me to respond in the best possible way, which I felt I did do. Fortunately, the whole squad has uh, given the slightest problems here because uh, everybody's playing well, so well. So um, uh, what I've just got to tell you is that the, a lot of people are saying, well, the team that's going to play against Natal is the likely test team. I can tell you now, hand on heart, it is not. There are two more games before we can decide. We've got the Natal on Saturday, we've got the Emerging Springboks on Tuesday. It's only really then do I genuinely feel we've been in a position to say, right, for the first test, that's the best 21 we think to go out and do the business. So there's a hell of a lot to play for. See these changes. Tony, I mean, you'll last the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Bugger everything know. else, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about your future career, but <laughs> certainly you should last the tour. I named you for Saturday. We're not going to play on Saturday, Jerry. And we'll probably not play on Tuesday either. OK? What you've got to know is that you... I'd love to play, though. I know you'd love to play. That's beside the point. What I don't want you to play is in a Mickey Mouse game and miss out, miss out on a test place, OK? But for two days, you do no running at all. Right. You don't pick a ball up and Can pick. Can I, um, can I go swimming or anything? Yeah, I'll, I'll take you swimming. Not today, though. Right. Yeah, what do you think of my game yesterday, uh, Gregor? I really want to know if you'll be my uh, teammate and all. 
Well, I think you played all right, Bealey. Uh, oh, you know what it is. Uh, I think the game's going pretty well. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, one of those as well. <laughs> and uh, how do you think Geach is settling in? Uh, everything all right, do you think? Uh, like you did at Northampton? <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, let's just look at pictures of ourselves here. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, that's me on the beach. Yeah, that's me on the beach. And uh, look, here's one of you here, uh, Gregor. Gregor, look at this. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Here we go. Ah, very good. Uh, yeah, what's that there, Beely? What are you looking at, Beely? <laughs> now, sometimes on tour, particularly when I've been away a long time, five five weeks, a fair length of time, probably a lot longer than most of us have been away before. Sometimes you think you're on your own out here, but you're not. I mean, I get dozens and dozens of faxes from people. And I've just, I've just brought a couple down. That's all. And these are the kind of things that are saying from uh, some Tony Richards, lol, no, he sends his regards, an old WASP member, just saying, Dear Fran, it is compulsive viewing. We haven't missed one second of it. We're with you in spirit, with hearts beating fast, and we're very proud. How about this one? Keep up the winning pressure, top form all the way, Marjorie. Widow Jeff Reynolds, 1938 Lions team, that was 60 years ago. Right, and she still felt it was important enough to take the time and trouble to say, look, we're with you. So when you go out there this afternoon and walk on that field, just think of the people who are with you, not just in this party, but people back home who are willing us on to win. Right, so the best of luck from every one of them. And everything that's coming back from home is all about pride and how people actually want to be part of it. Collectively, that's what we take from here right onto the ground and right through. What we should be ready for is the best game of our lives again, because that's what it demands. Are you ready for it? OK, let's go. Fifteen players have to make it. And it starts with one, and it makes fifteen. And the energy that comes through a team makes the talent. The talent is no good. It's no good unless it's part of fifteen. But I'll tell you the energy that comes through, and you saw it on, on the challenge on Wednesday night, the fucking energy that was coming through fifteen players. A commitment to say it was never going to be enough whether it was defending, whether it was attacking. It's never enough. Energy, right through, shoulder to shoulder. Everything you do. And the worse you feel, the bigger the jersey gets. The worse you feel, the more you have to do, the more you become a lion. Because that's what the jersey means. It's easy when it's 60 odd points up. The real lion comes out when the last tackle is needed, when the last run is needed to make the last pass, to make the last thing happen, to make the player get in, to make the four, to make the five, to make it work. When it's like that, when you think you've nothing left, that's when you become a lion. Good luck, boys. Be big lions today. I want you bigger come and in. better when you come, come off on, that come field. In. Let's go. Six minutes to go. Don't leave in here, boys. Last two games, the team will back in the changing room. We've got fucking. a fucking draft. We've got a fucking draft, Eric. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Oh, this is pure fucking pleasure. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Try and get out of your shell. Try and get out the deepest part of the fucking the pitch. It's what you want. It's heart. That's what we want. It's 15 fucking hearts, 15 minds on the same tune. It's what we want from the start to the end. We only have one chance for the Tal Lions. So just do it now. We play, we think, we support. Play your buddies and the This is it now, we fucking made it! Come on, boys! Don't leave it here, boys. Encourage, <coughs> us, encourage yourselves, encourage your teammates. Give him that shot. 
Tell him to get round the bar. Fucking hell, Phil Olds, lad. Just get the wall. Hit these, lad. Just hit them. Let's be intelligent. Let's be intelligent. Inside, man. Okay, when you're ready, Mike. All right, okay. Wait for the start. Respect, guys. Earn it. Go get it. Earn it. Well, we're ready. Gone completely. Yeah. Yeah. How far was it out before? Was it always a knob no, there? No. Was it a knob like that before? No. It's Let me take this in. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. I think he's out. Yeah. He's out of the twelve. Yeah. yeah. See how bad it is later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's things we can do. Well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's sweat. Yeah. Or it's ice. Sweat. <laughs> Rob dissolved into a fit of despair and tears, and I could feel the, the tears welling up inside me because I, I, I really like Rob. I developed a, an affinity with. If there are certain players that you re, you really do admire and and get to know, and Rob was one of those. Take it for the. Just slip your hand in there. We'll pen that in a minute. Okay, there. Is that okay for size? Just let it go loose, see if that's okay for size. Okay? What's the score? What's the score? I was three all, but I don't know. Somebody's score. I was three all when you came here. Thank you. Thanks. How long is this stock? Sorry? Oh, just a week or two. When you get back. Do you just have a little pin I could pop on there just to. I'll give you them back. As you'd expect in such a big game, 100% being given by every player. Simon Shaw was in. Miller. Dawson was bundled out of it. But now he's back on his feet. Dawson. Wood. Little chip from the hooker. That was late. That was definitely late. It should be a penalty. It could be a try. Townsend, advantage played. Jono is coming off for a moment. Possible blood injury over. Where's Rob? Give her eye closed. Jono, I'll leave you here. Okay. Perfect. Come on, man, just stick some stitches in. Sorry? Just put some stitches in. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Still 13 6, Jenna. How long's left? 10. Yeah. Get some vast ready just to smear on the knee. Too much of a meat, you'll see it. Yeah, I'm going to We'll check you afterwards. I'm coming out of your Call his name for the fucking ball, he'll get it because he wants to pass to somebody. I know it's five past four, I want to know how long we've been in. Hey! You've been in for six minutes. Go on, lift it, boys, start lifting. It's not. It's only half time. Only half job finished. It's a really good win. If they continue to pile on points from here, and they will do. Go on, Righty, good, that's good, good Righty. Oh, do I not like that? I don't care what he said. Can't take go, 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 can't 
Clint T is there. Still got it, boys. Yes! Go on, Gibsey! Go on, Gibsey! Keep it going! Very disappointed to say that Robert Howley uh, has dislocated his uh, acromioclavicular joint. Um, unfortunately, that's going to need an operation, and uh, he'll be returning home as soon as the medical officer thinks he's fit to travel. So, unfortunately, he's got to manage his way home, and during the course of this evening, we'll consider who his replacement should be. How much of the gloss is taken off by the fact that Robert's now going to go? Well, obviously, Rob, you know, he's a world-class player and he's a great friend of mine as well. And, uh, you know, it's very disappointing to see him go home. But, as I say, you know, rugby is a hard physical game and, you know, these bumps do occur. So, you know, obviously, it is sad to see him going home, but that's, that's the way it goes. So, um, I don't think we're going to go overboard about scoring 40 points in Natal. Well, you know, it's uh, the test series that we're here to win. You know, it was a good progression. It's better than, obviously, better than losing or, you know, not playing well, but... Um, We've got to put a hard, hard uh, week in for, for next Saturday's test match. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, I am uh, Mr J.R.R. Hartley, <laughs> Chief Clerk to the court, and I'd like to call on uh, the members of the bailiffs. And last but not least, Shawzy, who's now known as Bruce. Bruce, step on in. is the Honourable Lord Chief Justice Fester himself. If you'd like All to take rise. a bow, please. All rise, All please. Rise. Here comes the judge. Here comes the judge. Yeah, yeah, here comes the judge. I left my brother outside, so I'd like to bring him back in. Ruprecht! Ruprecht, come in! Ruprecht! Open the door there for Randy, Ruprecht. Randy, can you go fetch him, please? Ruprecht! Ruprecht, come in! Um, Ruprecht has no official function. He just wants to be here. He just wants to have a walk around. He hasn't done any any major crimes or any small misdemeanors. He's just here. So I'd like you to ignore him. He might kind of sit in your lap or he likes to kind of play with people's eyes. But whatever he wants to do, you just leave him alone. Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Sorry, excuse me just a moment. Bruce. Bruce. Shawzy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, could we have loads of beers in glasses up here, please? Quickly. The charges are as follows. Extremely poor timekeeping throughout the tour. Very um, quickly, Tom. So Tony Dipro's Mike Cat and Ollie Redmond and Paul Wallace for arriving late on tour. And uh, so Gregor Towns and Ian for poor timekeeping throughout, not enough the team meetings on time. Um, so Gregor Townsend's sentence has been suspended, pending further inquiries into uh, other uh, sentences, which might be passed at a later time. Yes. Well, Your Honour, I'm often late myself, and I can say that Mr. McGeekin and Mr. Mr. Townsend are always later than I. Especially Mr. McGeekin, I think he has to set a particular example, and I think he's uh, he's been particularly wayward. And uh, I'll hand over to your witness defence, but I, I see no mitigation here at all. Um, as your as your crime, you shall on a trigger call. Whenever I call a call, and the call is good girl. And when I say when I when I say good girl, you also have to neck another point. Except for you, Mr. Uh, McGeekin. Could everybody else please sit down, take some uh, cans with you? Always have a full can in your hand when I call good girl. You take one as well because you have more crimes as well. Sit down. Shut up. Sit down. Sit down. I, only part of it. Sit down, Mr. Mr. McGeekin. Sit back up there, Mr. McGeekin. As a member of the. Um, as a member of the management, because the players have decided we want to look after each other for the test, 
You, however, will not be playing in the test. I hope you like whiskey. Cheers. Drink, drink up. There's a good, there's a good lad. Next to rise, uh, Mr. Tim Rodber, please, if you take a stand. Your charge is as follows, Mr. Rodber. For the use of a cellular phone as the team ran out against the Blue Bulls at Loftus First Field, <laughs> and he was even actually on the bench as well. How do you plead? Guilty. Your Honour? I think this is a particularly heinous crime uh, on account of the fact that we, we set out five weeks ago that we would be a team and we would be focused, even if you weren't playing, especially even the other guys weren't even talking on their mobile phones. <coughs> However, this is a particularly bad, low, shallow, horrible crime, uh, and for which you now have to give free use of your phone to everybody this evening. <laughs> On the call of the trigger call, which is? Good girl. Good girl. Uh, you will have to give it to whoever is standing beside you, and you have to. Now, oh. case dismissed. Oh. Shark bite. I've <sighs> 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 moved the camera away. I can't hold my breath in any longer. <sighs> oh, I hate flying. Absolutely loathe it. And we've done hundreds of flights it seems on this. It's only five flights till we get home. That's how I measure the two of the number of flights I have to get through. I refiled them under the wine box instead of the box. Yeah. That, uh, excuse me, just be <laughs> careful. One, three times a day. Okay. A couple of days and have a good rest. Okay. And a nice hot bath. Alrighty then. What's up, Woody? I think you've left. Talk. Sorry. Total, total body wreck. It's got a bad back, a bad neck, two bad shoulders, a sore calf and a sore hamstring. And apart from that, it's fine. And he's Irish. And he's Irish. Yeah, I forgot about that.
And uh, there's uh, Richard Hill just called. You are, uh, you, and you are. Can you just introduce yourself, please, Mr. Williams? Who are you? I'll have to wipe my mother. <laughs> you, you, your name is Ray Williams. And who are you in relation to the tour? Uh, chairman of the Forum Union's Tours Committee. So Richard Hill should really know you. Yes. What he did he should. call you, Bob? Bob. Hello, Bob. <laughs> John. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. And uh, this is another gentleman on tour. And your name is Jeremy. Buzz. Jeremy. Buzz. Why do they call you Buzz? Because hey. um, you look like Buzz, like you. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's definitely got flu, but everybody else seems to have a simple cold. It's a reminder that you mustn't take remedies from over the counter. Eric's father kindly brought him something in yesterday, which he duly took, and it contains two banned substances. And if he, <laughs> if he was to be tested today, he would be banned in a first instance for a year because of the things that were in. So just a reminder, you must get stuff through us or if you get other stuff make sure that you actually have it looked at it's i know it sounds funny but a year's ban isn't funny and that's not covered by your insurance okay the only thing that concerns me a bit is their strongest element is their defense around their defense around the set piece will be massive they'll play we've just been talking about it earlier with a lot of big men in the middle running off honorable you actually need somebody who can stand up to that, and that's where Gibbsy has it over the others. I would hate us to go for experience and end up... That's like you're going for experience. Yes, and ending up missing the chance to have a real go at them. Yeah. And, that's and what we've got to get ready for is this surge of power and big men that are going to be trying to be released in the middle of the field. Mm. I think... You know, the thing that's come out of the last two two games, I don't think we can go in without Jenks. I think picking Hill would be a conservative thing. The real, out the blue, go for it would be to pick back. I think one of the things we've got to work on is Gregor not necessarily going from first phase or just having a dip, is to get it through his hands a bit quicker. And I think we've got rugby players in Wood and, and Smith whether he go for Jason to give you the solid bit. Again, I think it's a conservative choice, but if we, I think you maybe have to go for Jason. But uh, Wallace is pretty close. It's Wednesday, 18th of June. Big bags under my eyes. It's a very important morning. It's the morning that we find out who's in the first test to play South Africa on Saturday, 21st of June. If everybody's still in bed, having a shocking night's sleep. And you just can't sleep really. We were told last night in the team meeting that the team will be selected tonight in envelopes pushed under our doors to inform us who's playing. I've been awake since half past five. Just meant to wait in now. Obviously we've all come away to bend the test side and uh, like I said I couldn't sleep last night. I'm sure there's a few of the other lads like that but maybe philosophical. Um, there's going to be some big disappointments this morning. Let's just sit tight outside the lift door and uh, wait for my letter. Either disappointment or ecstasy. Cut me eyes. Oh. Anyway. Wait and see. Sam, the bearer of good or bad news with all the envelopes. It's early, she's early, it's 25 past 7. Thank you. I'm sat in my room, Gregor's not here, I've, uh, the test side's been announced for the first uh, test against South Africa on Saturday and uh, I was disappointed to be honest with the selection uh, in that I wasn't involved of course but uh, way back in Weybridge five weeks ago we identified this being as a day of uh, 
disappointments, major disappointments. Everybody's come on the tour and wants to play on the test side, and uh, of course there are always going to be lads who are disappointed. And uh, I have some consolation that I've been selected on the bench, so it's quite comical really when I read my letter. I uh, he said congratulations, and I thought yes, I've got on the test side. Uh, but then it went on to say I was a replacement, so I've dealt with that in a positive way. Uh, again, I'm disappointed, but uh, Alan Tate's been selected on the wing. He'll get my full support, along with the iron. Uh, he's also selected on the other wing. They'll both get my full support, along as, uh, as well as all the rest of the side. And, uh, and hopefully we'll do well as a side. Um, obviously the team spirit's been important up to present. We've, we've bragged about how good it is. But it'll really be put to test now, so... Uh, It'll be interesting and uh, hopefully it'll be a good day on Saturday. The team for Saturday, the first test, is fullback Neil Jenkins. Uh, the wings are Yian Evans and Alan Tate. Centres are Scott Gibbs and Jerry Guscott. Halfbacks are Matt Dawson, Gregor Townsend. Front row is Tom Smith, Keith Wood, and Paul Wallace. Second row is Martin Johnson, captain, and Jeremy Davidson. Number six, Lawrence Delalio. Number seven, Richard Hill. And number eight, Tim Rodber. And the replacements, three quarter replacements, are uh, John Bentley, Mike Catt, and Austin Healy. And the forward replacements are Barry Williams, Jason Leonard, and Rob Wainwright. So that's the 21 for the first test on Saturday. <coughs> Well, there's 15 guys, highly delighted. Uh, another six guys on the bench, uh, and 14, 14 blokes who are very disappointed, but they've reacted very well. bit has passed. Selection for the test team is the easy bit. You have an awesome responsibility on the eight individual forwards shoulders. Awesome responsibility. This is your fucking Everest boys. Very few ever get a chance in rugby terms to get for Everest. The top of Everest. You have the chance to do. Being picked is the easy bit. To win for a line, for the Lions in a test match, is the ultimate. But you'll not do it unless you put your bodies in the line. Every one jack of you for 80 minutes. Defeat doesn't worry me. I've had it often and so have you. It's performance at matters. If you put in the performance, you'll get what you deserve. No luck attached to it. If you don't put it in, if you're not honest, then we're second raters. They don't rate us. They don't respect us. They don't respect you. They don't rate you. The only way to be rated is to stick one on them. To get it right up in their faces and turn them back, knock them back, outdo what they can do, outjump them, outstrum them, outruck them, outdrive them, outtackle them until they're fucking sick of it. Remember the pledges you made. Remember how you depend on each other. You depend on each other every phase, teams within teams, scrums, line-outs, ruck balls, tackles. They are better 
than he's played against so far. They are better individually, or they wouldn't be there. So it's an awesome task you have. It'll only be done, as I say, if everybody commits himself now. That was written yesterday about us. Read it silently, take note of it, and then make a pledge. You are privileged. You are the chosen few. Many are considered, but few are chosen. They don't think, fuck all of us. Nothing. We're here just to make up the fucking numbers. The weak point is the scrum. The box must exploit this weakness. The box must concentrate on the eight-man shove every scrum. Scrummaging will be the key. Their weakness is the scrum. Nobody's going to do it for you. You have to find your own solace, your own drive, your own ambition, your, your own inner strength, because the moment's arriving for the greatest game of your fucking life. That badge, we've always said, represents four. I think it represents something else. You carry one on your own jersey. That is a very personal thing. What goes into that is your own country and three others. But what also goes into it is you. You should be carrying that badge for people who have put you in that position. It might be a schoolmaster, mother, father, brother, sister, wife, girlfriend, whatever's special to you. And people who have brought you to this place, that's who you should be wearing it for. That's who you should be playing for. Because in the end, they're the ones that matter. They matter to you. If it matters to you, it'll matter to all of us. If it matters to all of us, we'll win. Go out, enjoy it, but play for everything that's in that badge. For you personally, and for all of us collectively. Good luck. Let's have a win, and let's frighten them to death, eh? Let's go. Have the courage to play your game. 
should come out back to yourself. Discipline, belief, desire. Enjoy the fucking knots. Enjoy the knots. Look for the physical. Enjoy Look the play. The Everything everybody's ever put into that body of yours, let it come out. One minute, One minute boys. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. No one doubts a fucking man here. Don't go forward. If in doubt, go forward. The last five percent card you need. Just a mantle of yourself. You put it on the line. You take the pleasure at the end. That's what it's for. It's pain and pleasure. Oh, just squeeze, squeeze. And when you're dying, and when your arse is hanging out, and when you can't take another step, just think of now. Think of the fucking faces you're looking at. Come on, squeeze. Come on. What's it? Think of the faces you're looking at now. Don't let the fuckers down. They won't let you down. They'll be fucking brothers, 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 eh? So, we're in silence as an anthem. We're huddled just before the kickoff. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Come on! 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 Come on, Blake, come on, Woody. If we can keep the pace of the game up. Oh, look, they're out He's of off the scrum again. Townsend, Jenkins, on to Evans. Kick ahead from Evans will test you there again. Always lost it underneath the high ball once more, and Johnson gets it from Delario. It was almost away there. There's no full back at home. Oh. <laughs> They'll be substituting Juberg in a minute. I think so. Time. Come on, let's go. Keep concentration on the left. They fuck, they've got their blow. They'll come out again for ten minutes, fired up for it, because they've coached giving them a bollock in now for letting it go. Oh, we've got to keep sitting on especially on our left. Right, right. Yoss, we mustn't give Gilbert his good. Get him questioning all the time. Yeah. Tommy's doing his dabbling yeah. through. Stay there on him all the time. Right? Don't give him any, any run. No dummies, nothing. Right? If he gets the ball, he gets you as well. We've got to concentrate in attack and defence for 45 minutes, all right? Not fucking 39, not 30, 45, all right? Because we'll fucking win it in the last five minutes, all right? Come on. Yes, it's on four. Look at this. Oh, man. Team, man. Oh. 
Stay big, stay big, stay big, stay big. Wipe the bastards out. Long ball now. Get out, Dawson. If you have any doubt, you're off. Come on, Woody! Get up there! Yes! yes! Sorry, kick off, it's vital. Kick off, it's vital. Woody's OK. Dawson, getting away Matt Dawson, still going Dawson, he's ah! 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 So calm. Calm. He should have gone under the post though. What did you run under the post? What, what yeah, there was, the post? Right, there was a man right next to him. Jenks, get this one. 22 16. Hit it well. Oh. Right, come on, boys, we've got to play. We just played well for five minutes. Come on, don't give them a try now, don't give them anything. Fuck you up! Back it again, back it again! We're not going to get that down. Oh, yeah, we have. Tom gets it down every time. Man. Fucking beauty. Pressurise them! Come on, that was... <laughs> going to go for it. Oh, oh shit. no! Get back, get back! Come on! Get back, man! Oh, they're all over! Dig him, dig him! Come on, Jerry! Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, didn't panic! Come on, why? They're all over the show! Oh, no, Tim, no, you're wrong, man, you're wrong, Tim! No, didn't it? Oh, no, it's bloody. No, no, that's wrong. Keep it in the hand, man. Come on, they'll start chancing their arm now. Take it off, Tom. Something, Tom? No, walk it off, Tom. Stay up, stay up, waste the man a couple of minutes. Yeah.
scoring here and uh, one of the Lions here is today. Who would have mad at? Uh, over there. Matt, talk us through your try. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. What? Went for it. Schoolboy dummy over the top. Oh, was it brilliant? Uh, did, you did you watch the replay? No, I didn't. I didn't. I forgot to watch the replay. And scored the try, ran into the corner and gave it the old whoa, 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 and thought, what am I doing? What am I doing? Wait till it's fine. I'm going to get yeah. fine massively. No, no, we loved it. We were all doing that at the other end, oh. right? <laughs> and then you were doing a bit of that with the boys, weren't you? <laughs> so. Hello! Yeah, uh, yeah, they said their best wish, so you had a blinder. Grace. Just interrupt the interview. Sorry, you? Interview. <laughs> so, interview. Uh, how many men did you actually dummy? No idea. Well, we can tell you it's a world record four men you dummy. Four men or one dummy? Full back, winger, scrum half, and number eight. All went. That's nice to hear. Come on, dummy of the game. <laughs> I'm getting drunk tested. Oh, that's just not hanging out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Right, from now on, all we think about is the game. We're professionals, and professionals has nothing to do with mortgages or making money, it's about performance, mental and physical performance. And from now until a quarter past seven, we mentally get prepared for the biggest performance of your life. The next challenge is always the, next, the biggest one. The next challenge is the one against the Free State tonight. We're not underestimating them. They are a good side. But from now on, we only think of our performance. Any sort of standard to set ourselves, the 15 guys who went out to represent us on Saturday set the stall really high. And instead of saying, well, that's it, we can't reach it. That, to you fellas, should be the challenge, OK? They've set the stall out, these 15 guys. It could have been 15 in here. Most of you played last Tuesday, the standard was high, on Saturday was higher. We could go higher and higher still. Let's think of it, gentlemen. For six weeks, we've worked like beasts together. Blood, sweat and tears on the practice ground. We've eaten together, we've drunk together, we've sung together, you know, when you think about it. If I were you, I'll be relishing going out tonight. All that work together to be afraid of this crowd. No, no. The greater the challenge, the greater response from us. We go out there to put all these things together, all the things we've built up over the five weeks, to come out in a fucking crescendo. We don't fear them. We respect them probably, be, but that's it. We're up for the challenge, aren't we? We're up for the challenge. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the response. Think of it. 
We've beaten Eastern Transvaal. We've beaten Western Province. We've beaten Natal. We've beaten Transvaal. We've beaten the Springboks. We can beat anybody if we put our mind to it. If we don't perform tonight, it's nothing to do with them. It's to do with us. Is that right? It's to do with us. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the response. We want the challenge. I think you said last night, go out and enjoy it. I, was, I wish it was you boys. All the ability in here, all that individual skill, all that preparation. This is the scene you want to, this is the stage where you perform. Don't let yourselves down. Don't come off the pitch and say, I left it in the dressing room or I left it in here or the flight was too long. Don't make excuses. The real professional never makes excuses because he's no excuses to make because he's given his all. We're going to do it against the toughest team below the spring box. When we get it right, we are absolutely fucking breathtaking. When we get it right, we are superb. Yeah! of a try. Oh, a pitch of a try. <laughs> See the movement? Will Greenwood has this lovely movement. Caddy is injured. Will Greenwood's injured. Yeah, you're right, okay, as long as you're right. Right, he's fine. 
But the scores have come so easy, boys, we never need to work for them. We work more in defence than we are in attack. So forget that. Forget the complacency. We're, whatever it is, points up, forget the score. It's nil-nil. Is that clear? Nil-nil. Yeah. Yeah. We start off nil-nil and we build from there. OK, Will's off. Somebody on his shoulder, is it? OK, he's had a fucking great game. We play the game for him, OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next 40 minutes. Bravery, we need some fucking bravery out there. We come don't on. sit back. We don't sit back. We have more and more to come. Is that clear? Yeah. There's more and more to come. Let's have it out, boys. Come on. OK? Come on, then. Come on. Come on. Together, the communication is so fucking tight. Yeah. Yeah. 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah. We yeah. set ourselves the yeah. challenge. We fulfil that challenge. Same as last week, boys. Emerging spring box, crucify them. Next 20, OK? Next 40. If you play like that, you play like that, it'll be your last, okay? Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Come on, play for each other, boys. Nobody else will save you. Marlin. Oh. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, go big man, go big man, go big man, go big man! Wade, Wade, Wade! Run, run back here! Well played, well off to it. Well done, 15 minutes. Well done, Neil, old boy. Okay. Well played, Rob. Well done. Well done, Austin. Great game. Well done. <laughs> How bad was he last night? Did he, did he... It was a very, very serious incident, yeah. Matt. And in fact, James Robson thought he'd lost and he thought he was going to die on the field. Was he okay? Yeah. Said he was, he was, God knows, was unconscious, fitting. Swallowed his tongue and he's biting on his uh, gum shield. He couldn't get any reaction from his pupils at all for a minute. He thought, he thought he'd gone. Fucking hell. That's how bad it was. So, thank God for good medical attention immediately on the field and uh, no um, Orange Free State looked after him well. It was, that was good. I would hate to think we hadn't the power of our convictions to go for Bucky. Also, we'll have to take into consideration Scrum Half. Yeah. Scrum Half is the one man in their team who can actually, yeah. on any team, we got on this, who yeah. can win a game off his own back. could yeah. see after Dorset had scored his yeah, try on that, Saturday, yeah. the next three balls he got, he was breaking. It was only the fact that we were very, very aware that we didn't stop him. He was going, because it, it, it's in his mentality that he is the breaking scrum half. He has to dominate. And he'll be, right from the word go, I think, on Saturday, he will be wanting to make sure that everybody's talking about him from the word go. I would, I would probably go for Bucky in the bench and bring him on. What do you think? I would. Because okay. it gives us some completely different. Yes. Mm -hmm. It means Richard has to play out his skin because he knows Bucky's coming on. I mean, it's kind of blackmail, isn't it? They'll, they'll Are we I happy think, in terms of personality? Jim said they'll power us up front. They, they will, they'll have a real go at us up front in yeah. the first 20 minutes. I mean, I mean it'll, be, coach, I was really it'll be World War Three. I'm almost there.
winning the battle. <laughs> <laughs> Be a big bugger. You won't do that again. There are days like this when many rugby players never have it, never experience it. It is special. Jim and I have been involved in rugby a long time. I can tell you these are the things, these are the days that you'd never believe will come again. It has. And I can tell you, I've given a lot of things up. I love my rugby. I love my family. And when you come to a day like this, you know why you do it all. You know why you've been involved. It's been a privilege. It is a privilege. Because we're something special. is you'll meet each other in the street in 30 years' time and there'll just be a look and you'll know just how special some days in your life are. We've proved that the lion has claws and has teeth. We've wounded a springbok. When an animal is wounded, it returns in frenzy. It doesn't think. It fights for its very existence. The lion waits, and at the right point, it goes for the jugular. And the life disappears. Today, every second of that game, we've talked about what they're gonna do or everybody else has, we go for the jugular. Every tackle, every pass, every kick, is saying to the fucking spring book, you're dying. Your hopes of living in this test series are going. And on that field sometimes today, all it will be between you is a look. No words, just a look <coughs> that'll say everything. And the biggest thing it'll say is, you are special. You are very, very special. It has been and is a privilege. Go out, enjoy it, remember how you've got here and why, and finish it off, and be special for the rest of your lives. Good luck. Go for it.
Mr. Mr. Mander today, Hunt. Total. Come on, the red wall. Mr. Mander. Mr. Mander. The red one was to get through it. Sporting. Look out. Let's see how big this game is. 50 50 400. Just look across, boys. Look at Look into each other's eyes. Look at yourself and demand everything for 80 minutes. That's all. Every target. Come on. Every second of every minute. Get that ball. We play with it. We play football. Come on. It's all here, boys. It's our day. It's nobody else's fucking day. It's ours to win and fucking lose. But we're fucking winning. That's what it is. It's ours. Ours to do what we fucking want with. We set the standard. We play the standard. We take the fucking products. Let's fucking knock them back. Big man, they get to Come on, you're in places no British player has ever been before. Remember, don't expect to win. Come on, expect to win. Come on, what's behind that badge? Who are you playing for? Who does it matter to? Everybody here, whoever it is. Who does it matter? Who you got that badge on your chest for? The think about it, every second. Wait for it had to happen, boys. One last squeeze, go on, let's squeeze. It's okay, boys. Come on, Just come keep on. thinking it. It's ours. Let's encourage each other, Dave. Come on, boys. Come on. Let them start looking at the floor. Let them start looking down. There isn't one there, man, that you should be frightened of. Come on. There's anything you should be afraid of doing. Look each one in the eye, boys. Come on. Strong, like whatever it takes. Why? Fuss strong. Get in close to them. Twist that bastard the right round. Get in there. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Listen, just keep listening. The other thing that is going to be crucial this second half, Gregor, with the referee, is total self-discipline, right? Don't talk to him. He's going to give penalties as a Frenchman. If we work as hard in attack as we are in, de in defence, we'd fucking wipe them off the field. There's no ambition in attack at the moment. We're just happy to go from one set piece to another. We're not working any phases of play. We've got to work twice as hard in attack. Defence is what we've worked on all this tour. It's in our heads, it's natural. So we've got to work some attack, let's just pop the ball off. There's one person running, there's another person outside, let's fucking use it. They're lining us up. So let's play some fucking rugby. We're fucking 40 minutes away from winning a test series in South Africa. Okay. Okay. We have to get some heroes in there and get killed to death. They'll be kicking us to death. They're coming beyond the ball all the time. Let's get in the fucking middle of them. Especially the front five. And if they knock it on, Tom, he stood and looked it in front of the post, we could have counter attack. React when they knock on and play away for them. Then he wait for the whistle to go. You're 40 minutes now away from winning a test series. 
You keep this ball, you play for it, you've got it. We don't want it enough, boys. We just wanted to happen with the fucking working. Half backs, back row. Come on. They're precious. Once. Okay, come on. Come on. It's not going to happen, guys. It's not just going to fucking happen. Make the fucking thing happen. Come on. Come on. Make it happen. Make it happen, Wally. Come on. Lift your fucking heats. Stop fucking feeling sorry for yourself. In the first half, Thunder Vestazen, Hanabar, testing Jenkins here. It was inevitable that these high ones would come at some stage. But the Lions cling on. Tatus lost it. Hannibal's got it. And Scott Bay must be Montgomery. Using the ball that's kicked to them. Excellent counter attacking Keith Wood, well, he started kicking. It's a knock on. Scott Gibbs on the charge. Oh, look at him go. What a run by Scott Gibbs. Davidson. Dawson, Townsend, Bentley. Oh, my God. Greg, uh, dangerous. The real mark John Bentley is a danger. Dangerous. Yeah, but Greg is just pulling him onto him. Let's, let's I should have put him up here. Oh, Greg, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Play it up with me half, man. Get, just get the message on. What's the point of forcing it? Andy. I must play rugby near half. Then they keep the ball. Chance here, Hannibal. Out to Hubert. Andre Hubert is all the way. Oh, Come on, Jenks, put one over. Oh, no! Would he? No! Yes! 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 John boy, run John boy. Tim's cut. Eric. Tim. Tim. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. Don't give a fucking penalty away here. Another gear somehow at the end of the game. Hannibal. Hubert. Scott Gibbs knocks the ball out of his hand. Come on! It's a knock on. No, he's no, he's not giving it. Back is won it, back is won it. Neil, give it to Neil, give it to Neil! Give it to Neil! <laughs> one minute, one minute from glory. One minute for fucking glory. One minute from glory. Here he goes again! Oh. Come on! Wood is down and hurt. On a ball's kick. Jenkins goes across. John Beckley's trying to get there. It's Neil Jenkins. Must be time. We go 
deeper and deeper into injury time. Jenkins has put this out. Done! Hey. 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 Hey.